A current of 10 amperes enters a circular loop of radius 5 centimetres, so this distance here will be 5 centimetres, uh, so that a 5 ampere current flows in each half of the loop. Well, let's put those on. 5 amperes, 5 amperes. What is the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field at x, the centre of the loop? Well, let's think about this. Because we have 5 amperes in each side of the wire, uh, we can calculate the effect of one and then just add the effect of the other because the magnitude will be the same. So let's figure out which direction the magnetic fields will be moving in. We can use the right hand rule to see that for the bottom wire the magnetic field produced will be out of the image towards you and for the other side it'll be into the image, so toward me. Now we know that because it's a circle, and circles are symmetrical, the effect of both of these on the very middle of the circle, at x, will be exactly the same. So if the top wire points in, and the bottom wire points out, then the net magnetic field right in the middle will be zero. So our answer is at the center of the loop there is no magnetic field, because the field created by the top half is cancelled out by the field created by the bottom half. Of course, if you try and figure out the magnetic field at points other than the centre, you might have a little bit of trouble.